Hey, and welcome back to The Last Cut here at the Skating Club of Boston. We are here covering Skate America and the ladies event. I'm Ashley Wagner here with Jackie Wong. Jackie, let's talk about Cowrie. What'd you think today? Uh, it was it was a little off. I mean, I, mm -hmm. I, lo I really like this program on her and, you know, she's just been off all week. Um, just a little bit of stuff here and there. It was always something with the axle or something with the loop and I've, I've talked to her a couple of times and she's she says she's fine um you know i'll ask her again today and and see if there's anything else that maybe flared up or something you know athlete nagging injuries right um but i i i really like where this direction this direction of the program where where it's gonna go i right. think um you know it, it suits her style she's powerful um, you know, maybe a pantsuit could help with this uh, <laughs> program. I agree. I want to see pleather. Do yeah, not yeah. put out some Janet Jackson without a little bit of pleather. You mentioned this to me earlier. I feel like in the past with combinations, if she's been a little bit off, we've seen her completely power through yeah. elements, and she just looked like she didn't have enough gas in the tank today to do that. I mean, I think a little bit of that, but also I think she made the calculation that like she's done enough powering through where she like fell on a triple toe after being, you know, just a little bit off on the flip. So I, I think that was a smart decision for her and she's still in the lead. I mean, the short program is also better safe than sorry, right? Yeah. And she's the kind of skater coming in as reigning world champion. You already have just that support as an athlete, but we know what she's capable of. So I'm sure headed into to this free skate, we will definitely have some exciting things that we'll be seeing from her. But moving on to Isabel. Under, underscore though on the PCS, I, st I think she is. I was sitting right next to Jackie and Jackie was like, 34, <laughs> 34, I'm like, Jackie. That's, but yeah. absolutely, I mean, she performs, she sells, and that's the kind of skater that I want to see more of. Uh, moving on to Isabeau, though, a skater that definitely has a lot of promise. I'm so excited. This is her senior Grand Prix debut, and what a great start. Yeah, for sure. Uh, every time I see her, I'm very impressed by the flow and some of just like the ease of floating that she has She's on the ice. She's very light on the yeah, ice. Yeah, very light, um, especially, and the short program really suits her because she can take that time to get some of those curving edges out and mm -hmm. like you really see especially at the beginning before she really gets into the jumps of the program she really just takes the time to get into the music get into the ice and and I feel like that's the stuff that really highlights it right and then you get to get to her jumps and the jumps are floaty but also there's this thing that happens right before she goes into the jumps that just slows her down just enough that you notice it right and and that's that's the thing that i think she's definitely worked on to improve mm -hmm. and and i think you know there's there's more there's more potential there i agree i do think that she's young she's 15 uh you just need to she needs to develop her skating a bit more i want to see way more speed she is so light on the ice and that is something that is really enjoyable to watch but if she could take this recipe and just add some gasoline to it and just fly into those elements, I would feel a lot better about it. And then also, I do want to talk about her combination. Uh, you know a confident competitor when they put their combination in the short program as the last element. There is, you know you're going to land it, and I really appreciate that about her, but the let's loop was called under-rotated. So what do you think about the risk-reward with a loop combination? She's been doing it since really late last season, and and uh, the the that that combination I think for her feels better because mm -hmm. she does have a triple let's triple toe. The the toe tends to come off even a little bit, um, not slower, but just like le with less power. Her loop she gets up in the air, and and really it's a dynamic jump for her. And I think just stylistic wise, I think the 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 team made the decision to do the loop. And also, it's worth more. But, mm -hmm. um, but you know, when you when you know you you were queen of loop combinations, right? Um, like the the loop just it, it's it's tough if you're just a little bit back on your right. on your heel. You just don't get the snap. Yeah. You don't get the pop as, as and you need as the well. flow. And I feel like that's one thing where speed will really help her in the yeah. future. If she can have a little bit more of a running edge coming out of that element, it's going to make it a lot easier for her. Right. And then in complete contrast to Isabeau, we have Amber yeah. Glenn, who was fantastic Speaking today. Speaking of flying, right? Flying. Yeah. I I really love Amber's skating. I think she's a really dynamic athlete. She's very powerful, kind of similar in the way that Kauri is, but 
I, I think she chooses music that really suits her. She can sell it. And today she just looked calm, yeah. which was really nice to see. I mean, if, if anybody's been following Amber Glenn over the last couple of uh, competitions, you know the short program has been where she has just didn't has not done well and she's right. had to climb back out and and you know get the thing you know, you know how that a works. girl after my own heart <laughs> uh, but i do think taking the triple axel out of the short and putting it in the free that Smart. i think that's very good for for her just like mentally be mm-hmm. like i'm gonna do the flip toe i'm gonna do a loop and i'm gonna deal with that and she yeah. dealt with it. it it was great and the crowd here eats it up right i mean she's skating to a home audience they, they love that uh, it's popcorn skating. I just, I eat it up. I do think that as a skater who has shown us in the past isn't a super strong short program skater, taking out that triple axel was just really important. She needs to get maybe a season or two where she really gets those good reps under yep. her belt so that she knows what to expect. And throwing that triple axel into the long program, it's super smart because well, you have nothing to lose. Yeah, and I got to say her triple axel this week is the best I've ever yeah, seen. Absolutely. It's been insane. Yeah, I mean, she's, she, it, it's not... She isn't like, I remember at national, she'd be like popping it. It'd be like single axle, single highs axle, lows, single axle, lows, single axle. Yep. And then she goes and does a triple axle and she falls, right? And and here it was, you know, a couple of, of adjustments here and there. But I've seen at least three clean triple axles It looks like a here. trained element. Yeah, exactly. Which is it's really nice to see. Yep. I definitely want to take a second to talk about Gracie. I... Even though she did fall on the loop, I feel like this was a really great performance from Gracie, especially considering we haven't seen her show up like this on the Grand Prix circuit in a few seasons. So it's it's really nice to see. I mean, it's been so long since she's really been on international ice, right? Mm -hmm. And and you saw some of the jitters when she was at Nebelhorn, and it was like, okay, you look trained, but like mentally just wasn't there. This week, she's just she's looked so confident in practice. She has been smiling in practice, yeah. right? Like, like she's having fun, which is something that, for Gracie, it hasn't been like that for the last few mm-hmm. years. It's been a lot of just like fear and, you know, just kind of anxiety around being on the ice, mm-hmm. in front of people, right? Yeah. And and the fact that and and I I didn't actually get to watch her, in you know live. I was watching her on the screen because I was in the press conference. Um, when she came out, she was smiling. Right and like relaxed and looking confident and she like took her gloves off it was very it was like a very like i'm gracie go i'm gonna take my gloves off and i'm gonna go and do that triple s triple loop or triple toe and she did uh, as a competitor who i mean she and i just came up in the sport together i feel like i know her so well and this was the closest to the gracie goal that i remember that i've seen in a long time yeah. and I think at this point, everyone just wants her to be able to enjoy skating. And seeing this version of Gracie is just really nice. Yeah. So that is it for the ladies short program. We will be back covering pairs and men's later tonight. So stay tuned. I'm Ashley Wagner. This is Jackie Wong, and we will talk to you soon.